Everybody, hello. Here we are. Back at the struggle. So, last we left off, we were sent on quite the rigmarole to keep up appearances with various factions. And we've earned a good night's rest. It is for 12 in the morning. That's sort of nice. Because that means I can train, sleep until fully rested, and then shops will be open. Actually, it doesn't look like I have much to sell. I do not. So, I'll train, the guilds will be nearly open, and I can get back to work with what matters, which is the Mages Guild. So, let's open up with some training. <laughs> Alright, cool. And let's rest. We might level up. But we didn't. That's okay. It is now 10.22. Let's get out of here. So here's what I'm thinking. It is the 19th of January. I refuse to use the Elder Scrolls month naming conventions. It's going to become a problem in April because I'm going to not know what those months are called. So, yep, we got to loiter for an hour here. Here's what I'm thinking. We've got quests to do for these folks. We have to do a couple of in-town ones, minorly obnoxious, but I'm thinking we do some guard quests, because that'll mix things up a bit. It'll give us a little of in-town combat, and it should give us some loot. So I'm going to sift through these. Uh... And oh, I'll speed through this so we can find some guard quests without you having to watch me sift through them all. I just passed one up because it's for midnight, which means we'd be waiting forever. There is one guard quest that starts immediately when you grab it, and that's what I'm looking for. Here we are. It certainly took long enough. I was starting to think it was bugged out. But it's not. Here it is. Get a magic bracelet for doing the quest. I'm not so much concerned about the loot. I'm concerned about having a nice local quest that doesn't take much time. And frankly, we're going to get loot from the people that come to attack the sleeping wizard that we are guarding, they're going to drop loot. So, let's get into position. <gasps> I can backstab? I can backstab with bows. Uh, oh, they're getting ready to take a shot at me too. All right, good. That's all it took. Oh, wow, okay. So let's get our arrows back. This is useless, but this is Elven, a gigantic upgrade from our leather. It weighs twice as much, but it gives five times the defense. So big win. This might be Elven as well. Steel, eh, I'll grab it. Steel isn't bad. Helm. And here's the thing about these. They tend to stack up their loot. They tend to have the same loot on them with additive for the next corpse. So you see we're getting another Elven Curious. 
one of those weird dagger fall things. So now we're on to the next corpse's loot. A silver die katana. Uh, uh, plus one helm, doesn't matter. I am wearing an iron right pauldron, and this is steel, so that's an upgrade. I don't care about chain, doesn't sell for enough for me to justify picking it up. Let's check the last corpse. More arrows, more steel stuff, another Elven Curious, and I'm out of space. I'm not out of space, what am I talking about? Everything goes in the wagon. Okay, good. The corpses are still there. That's nice. Grab this. And this. Okay, yeah, this was the first corpse to drop, so it had the least amount. Okay, I loitered for one hour. It's a three-hour job, so if I loiter for two more, I should be able to turn it in. There you go. And I get a magic bracelet, which I can sell. Let's identify it. Hello, my friend. Would you like to tell me what this is? Didn't cost much to check. Cast when held water walking. Cool. I can do that myself, which means that's vendor money. Which I appreciate very much. Don't get me wrong. All about the vendor trash. Okay. One down. Fortunately, we have a lot of catching up to do. I'm going to train again, and then I'm going to find another guard quest. So get ready for some more speed up. And one more for good luck. All right, back at it again. Get another quest. Alright, it's given me like the same five or six quests. I'm not seeing the quest to guard something for three hours starting now. I'm not seeing the quest to guard shit starting at midnight. I'm not seeing the quest to open a chest for people. So I'm thinking it's bugged out. Uh, at this point, I'm thinking I'm going to reload the game see if that fixes it. So I'll be right back. All right, I also exited the Mage's Guild, in case exiting and re-entering will fix it. Let's try this again. Okay, this is it. Huh, well, third try. Wiggity whack ass game. Closer in the back with a little slack, because Inside Out is 1980s. All right. So. I'm so thankful that the exit, you have to face north to exit, which means because enemies are always, they always seem to spawn facing north. Which means <laughs> when they come in, they're facing the exit. And I gotta shoot them in the back. Alright. Let's loot things for profit. Uh, they don't seem to be carrying a lot of value this time around. I'm getting some straight cash, but all this leather crap? Eh. Not too crazy about that. Iron. Wow, man, this is dog shit. 
Well, you know what it's good for? It's good for mercantile skill. Alright, let's just take shit until we're full. Alright, now let's go dump it in our wagon. Okay. Let's loiter for two more hours. A magical gem thingy jing. Oh, this one's worth a fair amount. And also, it is getting dark out. So let's, before the shops close, if possible, let's see if we can't catch them and sell some of this stuff. When you use shock, you start the game with shock. I mean, I guess it doesn't cost magic. But as usual, I'm not a huge fan of randomly found magic items. But, I mean, really, I'm not complaining because it's more money in the bank. Uh, oh, we're going north. Our friend, the budget armor smith, is to the south. Uh-oh. It's 1800. I hope that isn't the cutoff. That's the that's the armor smith that would try and rip me off. All right, let's head east. So we're gonna do just a few more local mage guild quests, and we'll go in another dungeon. All right. It's all in my wagon. Let's make some money. Not a ton of money, but we're, we're going for mercantile more than anything. Actually, those elven cuirasses, those are going to go for a pretty penny. Because armor goes for more than weapons, typically, and elven is rather high up the material hierarchy, at least in comparison to what we normally get. Let's start speeding this up. I think we've done enough trading to... Those are our backups. Trading to level up our mercantile, so... See, there you go. That's worth more money than we've made off of everything else combined, essentially. Not after haggling, but you get the point. And then I'm going to get it again. The problem, the only problem is... Uh, I don't want to steal from my friend. Is Oh, fuck! Well, we're taking five points uh, instead of six this time. What I came here to show you is that I'm using half my encumbrance on gold alone, and the banks are closed. <laughs> the banks are closed, so I can't go dump my cash. I've got to carry it until morning. Because banks have bank hours in this game. They're open till like 3 p.m., so real people can't use them because they're working. <clears throat> See if the general store will buy my magic items. Did I just pass it? Yes, I did. Hello, my friend. Ingredients. He's not buying the magic items either. Piss. Piss. Oh, you know, there's a jeweler here, and they're both considered jewels. I think I can sell them to the jeweler. However, the jeweler is closed. Okay, great. 9 to 18. Son de la bitch. Alright, we're not selling them right now. Back to the Mage's Guild. The jeweler, I believe, is a tier 5 jeweler, which means he's gonna he's gonna put me over the barrel when I try and sell to him. <clears throat> okay, well. I leveled up. That happened by accident. Five points we're okay with. 
If it was four, I would have been upset. I sure do see Bedard Hawkton. Grab another quest, shall we? Open door. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Now, there's nobody outside to ask which pawn shop I've got to go to, but I will go into a tavern, ask, and judge which one it is based on the direction they tell me. Hello, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Gaston-looking motherfucker. You don't want to tell me? Okay, south. So it's the one on the south end of town. He just wanted me to speak to him in a different tone of voice. Didn't like all that polite shit. Alright. I'm all about the open chest quest. Because we're sitting on full magic. It's here in town. It's only going to take us a minute. We don't have to mill endlessly through the quest dialogues to get to it. First come, first serve for local quests. To the east. Getting that running and jumping going. Alright. Give me your chest. Open the chest. Just confetti. Thank you so much. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Out of here. So long, sayonara. There's some age guilt. <clears throat> so I've done three local quests. That adds up to seven. We want at least a dozen, ideally 16. Actually, that depends on our skills. My destruction is at 52. I think I need something in the 70s to get rank eight, and that might not happen in time for a rank up. But at least a dozen. So we'll do one more local, and then we'll do a dungeon crawl. Okay. Back and forth on the save files. Open door. Let's do it. Uh, why don't I just ask somebody here, right? Northeast. Okay, it's the other one. Instead of going to a tavern, there are people ready and willing to help me in the Mages Guild. Swinimus. Oh, not by much. It's, it's up here. Cool. Didn't check to see if I have enough magic to cast a spell. It's going to be close. Imp. Eat shit, Imp. Get dunked. You're welcome. How much spare magic did I have? Seven. Yep. I had enough, but not by much. Okay. See, now we're on a roll. We just had that weird fucked up streak, man. People, you know, one of my pet peeves in gaming is when you complain about an overabundance of, like, streaks of random luck. And the answer is always, RNG is RNG. It's just RNG. No, man, RNG systems can fuck up all the time. It's just hard to prove. It pisses me off. I'm like, dude, you're just sucking corporate dick, man. The game's fucked up. Whatever it is. The World of Warcraft Legion, famously. Actually, that's a story for after we get a quest. Hold on. <clears throat> <coughs> I 
Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going on a dungeon crawl. Uh, King King Gothrid. We're going to kill a mage for a magic scarab. No, we're not, because it's far away. Uh-oh. Which one's further along? This one is. I can see the little icon. There's no magic left in this icon. So. Okay. Quest. Sleep spell? No. <coughs> Nearby dungeon. 26 days. We're still, we still want to just be a little closer than that. I'm getting a bit picky, but that's... That's because we've already been given the runaround. At Trinach, 32? Come on, dude. I know, I've gotten quests for dungeons as close as eight days. This guy wants to give me fucking shit across the Iliac Bay. <gasps> we need a guard! Uh, well, I can't write... Lee, turn that down. This starts at midnight roughly five hours away. So let's get four hours of shut-eye. Right? Well, that was an unhappy... well, a happy accident, I should say. Do I still have time here? Eight hours? Don't need all of them. Let's go for four. Hmm. <clears throat> Get there at midnight. We're gonna get there at 11 p.m. and loiter for the rest. A hiccup. <clears throat> All right, let's train, and then we'll loiter. One more for good luck. All right, here we go. Jumping, running mercantile, and a whole host of other motherfucking. Got him! Got him! Whoa! He hit me from around the corner with an arrow. Hey, dude. Alright. There's more than three this time, huh? Alright. Let's gather some goodies. Leather, 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 as usual. The bane of my existence is a bunch of heavy shit that doesn't sell for much. Elven war axe, though. Ba battle axe, I'm sorry. We will take that. Basically, we're picking up steel or better right now. And hard cash. Eventually, we'll start getting shit that... It's... it's so... Ah, oh, fuck. It's... So... Valuable that it's better to pick up the items than the gold. Like, if I were to, for example, find a Daedric Greaves or something like that, those go for so much that they sell for an amount of gold you can't even hold. So when you sell it, you just get a letter of credit instead of the gold. <laughs> you just get a banknote saying, yeah, we owe you. Like... Because the game's just like you can't, you can't. So so it's it's better. It's almost like you buy the pieces of armor as currency because it weighs less than the gold that it's worth. Okay, so 
we have we still have three hours left on our guard duty because it, it goes from midnight to three all right everybody's gone but you take this ruby I will I'm just gonna sell it but Duncan we're gonna go on a Duncan crawl and if it's far away this time, we can't reload the game, because if we reload the game, he's going to be gone. Because it's closed, so we're just going to have to cross our fingers. That's a sleep spell. Go get mommy wrappings. 16 days. See, that's all I wanted. Something a little closer than out in the crazy crazy boonies all right okay <clears throat> so how much magic do we have we need 70 for training two and wormhole is 65 so i need 135 and i have 139 Woohoo! i can set an anchor go to the tavern Train, sleep it off, and then head right out once I once I wake up. That is excellent magic economy. So, I'll tell you a story while doing this. Um, so, I was on my RNG tangent before I was ADD sidetracked. <clears throat> at the beginning of World of Warcraft Legion, which I wasn't there for. My brother was, but I was not. Um, they, they put artifact items in the game. Or legendary items, I should say. I mean, you had an artifact weapon, but you had legendary items for just about every slot. There were dozens of them. And they were just random world drops. And it was just RNG, and you had to get lucky, and they implemented a bad luck protection system, where if, <clears throat> if you didn't get it, like each time, you know, every once in a while, it would just tick up your bad luck protection and it would make it more likely to drop, and it would just do that, and it would do that until you finally got a legendary item. And they sort of curbed, like, people from having full suits of legendary gear by making it so you could only wear two at a time. Which is good thinking. But here's the thing. People were complaining about not being able to get it. And then there were other people that they, they got one, they got lucky, they got one early on, and then they got another, then they got another. So you, you either had people that weren't getting them, or you had people that were getting like four, five, six, seven of them. No middle ground, really. Not, not, a, not a, a, a real reasonable middle ground we're training before we leave here. Um... <clears throat> Well, it turns out their RNG was all fucked up. Uh, if you got one to drop, it became more likely that another one would drop for you. And then if you got another to drop, it would become more likely that another one would drop for you. And so on and so forth. And if you didn't get one, uh, the bad luck protection... I can't remember if the bad luck protection in that case didn't work at all, or if it worked slower... Or if it worked in reverse, and you got less and less likely to get one to drop. I honestly couldn't tell you that end, but if you got one, it would just get more and more likely that you would get more. Oh, whoops. So, when people say RNG is RNG, I say, Prove it, motherfucker! Because they don't know what they're talking about. RNG can be buggy just like any other system. 
And it depends on how it's implemented. If it's just a straight accepted randomness algorithm, sure there's no such thing as true randomness, but typically those work sort of well. But it's all in how it's implemented. Often it's not implemented correctly, and it shows all the time. All right, you've watched me train long enough and listen to my anecdote. We're scooting along. I'm just trying to boost these skills so that we have the best possible chance of getting higher ranks in the Mages Guild when it comes time for promotion. Because it will take account our reputation gained from doing quests, and then it will take account of your highest and second highest skill that the guild cares about. So the higher we get them up, the better. But enough tedium. Let's read our long, our log rather, our long log. Castle Woodcroft. Get some mummy wrappings. Castle Woodcroft. Let's do it. Travel, shall we? Castle Woodcroft. Only two days away. That's why we were picky. Sometimes you just gotta be picky, right? <laughs> 